Hi, this is Peter from Builder Boeing. Uh, here's the front part of our main instrument panel. I'm about to install it later today, so I thought I just made a small video before I put it under frame so I can go through the details. Just need to focus here. Um, caps inside over here. As I said, I did a video of the um, of the back side of the panel just a few mi minutes ago where I mentioned I bought a $4 watch on eBay. That's the one you have here. You can see I only got the second the hand that shows the second installed um, used for race tracks and approach holdings and so forth. Um, you just need to be able to count one minute. Um, as I said earlier on, also I put glass in here and all these, every button works. This one works, these works, everything works here. It's supposed to, to work. I've used, as knobs, I've used these um, 50 cent, um, well that's the price of the the, the button. Um, they're half a dollar each and I've painted them, uh, spray painted them to match. Um, original or lookalike buttons of, of Boeing style is like $15 and this is half a dollar so to me that, that's fine. It's made out of something called Foam Alux um, which is some hard pressed foam. Um, focus, there. You might not be able to see it here but this is five millimeter foam. Um, original white, here you can see it in white, and it's very easy to work with. You just need a, a sharp Stanley knife to cut, you cut your holes with a knife, and if you need to cut it a bit wider, you just use the knife again. Uh, compared to MDF, I would, I would recommend everyone to use this instead. Um, it's flexible when you, when you buy it, but when you start installing panels and so, it's actually quite easy to work with and stable. Um, Another wise uh, advice I read, I think it was in Andy's blog, or David Muir, I can't remember, Andy I think, his blog. These two buttons here actually work as well. Um, they're not used under cockpit, but you can use them on flight simulator like pause or replay or whatever you need um, an extra button for. Um, so that was a very good idea to interface those as well. That's more or less it here. Um, these are also frames made out of um, five millimeter uh, foam alux, and I need to do frames for the, um, the screens at some point. So that's missing. Um, all gauges are not homemade, but from um, open cockpits more mostly. This one up here from his path panel, Spanish company. And this one is open cockpits, open cockpits, this one actually I also think is his per panels, open cockpits, his per panels here. Um, and it's just interfaced or in, it's built on the back with a servo engine and some gears to make it work um, and move properly. Over here, um, I've used real glass on these windows. Over here on um, this clock and the other clock I've used you can hear it's a different sound. It's um, it's an overhead sheet that you used in like ten years ago when you had had something you wanted to show projected on, onto a wall. You used this piece of overhead um, that you could write on with a marker, and you could print like um, print on it. I'm sure you know what I mean. And it's just like a piece of thin plastic here glued on the back side of this. So I'm just using this. This is not a altimeter I bought like five ten years ago in Bangkok actually. For, for very small money. I'm just using it here as a counterweight. It fits here. I just glued these frames on right now. They're not working, the frames and the clocks. Um, I might do that later, but very low priority and it's going to be a hassle to interface them. Um, last thing here, this one is also half a dollar um, and suits my needs just fine. And as I mentioned in the, in the other video, this one is bicycle tube that I've used. And everything is painted in um, RAL 1711, Eichengral, um, and actually quite easy to work with. There's a few few places the paint have come off and I need to like repaint it at some point, um, those small areas. And it's looking a bit dirty as well, uh, here and there, um, but on the other hand, most of the cockpit pictures you see of actual airplanes, they are also uh, not all that tidy inside. Right, I'm looking forward to installing this later today, hopefully I'll be able to, 
and I'll make another update once installed.